Blockages in the air hoses unfortunately happens periodically. The ability to catch these blockages early when a problem develops helps prevent a small problem from turning into a larger one. After watching this video, you will be able to use the information displayed on the blockage screens to monitor blockage levels on the drill. Relative Flow Blockage from John Deere allows customers to monitor seed flow from a central page. The screen is divided into an upper area and lower area. The upper area shows the towers on the seeding tool. Towers T1 through T8 are numbered to the corresponding tower on the 1870 and indicate flow from the top chute to the air cart. Towers B1 through B8 indicate flow from the bottom chute on the air cart. By pressing on any tower icon, the bottom of the screen will display that tower showing more information, including the secondary status. The outer ring on each tower shows relative flow compared to the other towers on that chute. The central area of the tower icon displays overall status of each primary tower based on color. The bar below the icon displays performance of the secondary flow based on lowest flow on the tower. The bar status is also based on the same colors. See your OM for complete details on the blockage system. As a blockage begins to develop in the primary, the outer ring will decrease indicating a blockage in the airflow to that tower. The secondary bar below the icon will obviously also begin to decrease. As the blockage continues to increase, the outer ring will continue to decrease to a point where the primary is fully blocked. At this point, the center of the primary icon will turn red, alerting the operator of a total blockage. You can see the relative flow blockage system gives a great view of what is happening from the cart to the opener to spot problems before a blockage occurs. Now you are able to use the information displayed on the blockage screens to monitor blockage levels on the drill.